Hello everyone, this is Pandey Rajan from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. Today we are going to see how to perform the file import function in Customer360 application. Uh, it is similar to bulk upload functionality which we use in our IDD application. First let's see the agenda for today's session. We will see about file import details and usage then prerequisites which we need to follow during this configuration of file import and then we will have a quick demo on how we need to configure it and we will discuss about the key points on this functionality file import uh, file import is one of the default components present in customer 360 user interface so it is not required to configure anything to see this component by default it would be visible in our customer 360 the file import component configuration is used to specify the templates that uh, you can use to import data into customer 360. So let's see the usage of this functionality. It is primarily used to create and update multiple customer records at one shot in customer 360 application. So the key advantage of this is it will be an easier and non time consuming process to load multiple data as it is done as a bulk process and also it provides us a feasibility to import data from spreadsheets import can be done through .csv files uh, next quickly let's see what are the prerequisites which we need to ensure before configuring this file import we need to have the customer 360 application deployed up and running then we need to create the required view through provisioning tool based on this view our import template will be auto generated all the field which is present in that view right it will be included in our template by default so there is also like three default template available which gets imported during the installation process of our customer 360 application now this is the file import component configuration step where you know uh, we will specify the template that we need to import data into our customer 360 the following sample code shows the file import component configuration so this is the by default template so we need to include our uh, new view which we have created based on our business requirement so this import needs to be done through C repos component instant table now let's see the quick demo of this process okay we will see the quick demo here I have opened customer 360 uh, schema so I will show you like where we need to include the views so in our C repos component instance table quickly let me query it so this C360 widget configuration right so this is where we will be providing our uh, template Just a I'm copied it and pasted it here so this is the template I will quickly show you the view which we have created in the provisioning tool so now I will uh, quickly show you the view which we have created for this demo in the provisioning tool in business entity modeling we will be having our business entity views so this is the views which we have uh, which we will be using for our uh, import template so this household view which has party group type and party group name column defined so I have included that view in our customer 360 widget configuration so as you could see the household view which I have included it so let me quickly uh, show you the data which I'm going to pass I'm going to load uh, three data's household uh, it is Mike Dave and Harry right now in the database let me query the table this is the table which is going to get populated so we have four values these four values okay let's quickly uh, perform this template operation I'm launching I'm launching the customer 360 application
so after launching the customer 360 application by default you will be seeing this file import right as already mentioned file import is the default component present in customer 360 user interface so here you can select the template which you want to load household I'm selecting and the format so one option which you can get it you would be able to view the template details and you can also download the template so that you can uh, pass the values which you want to load into the database through that template so it will display the attribute details which we need to pass under its corresponding data type this makes that you know this party group name is a mandatory column which needs to be included in the template then select next through this browse window we, we will be able to import the source file I'm loading this and validate and preview options shows you like you know what are the uh, data which will be getting validated and it will be getting imported in the database validation successful the file contain three records to be imported so you will be able to see what are the three records which is going to get imported into the database next start import okay the record has been loaded successfully you could see three records has been created let's quickly check that data in the database this is the first result uh, which we were having like four records in the party group table now I'm querying it again as you could see right now we have three more entries Mike Dave and Harry these two these three records got loaded as a new customer So that was the quick demo on how to perform this uh, file import operation in customer 360 so the key points which we need to remember is like you know we can load and update both parent and child records through this process you just need to define both parent and child fields in the view which will be auto included in the template so the mandatory columns as I already said uh, it will be uh, showing when you validate the template those mandatory columns let's say some reference columns if it is uh, defined then that input should be passed in that import file which uh, we are using uh, you can refer customer 360 configuration guide on the informatica kv portal for more information regarding this uh, bulk import configuration we would love to hear from you do write to us through the below mail and social media platform I thank you for your time. Have a great day.